Jared Poland Frono's photo. Dot com, and this is a quick first look at the Canon EOS R5 and R6's Animal IAF out in the real world. So let me show you exactly how I was shooting and what I was shooting with. This is the EOS R5. I also use the R6, both with the 800 millimeter F11 RF lens with an Atomos recorder plugged into the camera to record exactly what you would see if you were looking through the electronic viewfinder. Now, with that being said, I had to handhold the camera just like this. This is how I had to shoot out like this instead of like this, which is more stable. So if you see some shaking or moving around, that's because this is how I had to shoot, holding the camera just like this. So I have image stabilization on in the body as well as on the lens. Now, when you put an F11 lens onto the EOS R6 or R5, you are going to get only the center portion of the autofocusing points, not the 100% coverage. That's because it's one of these F11 lenses, but you can still use animal IAF, which is exactly what I used when shooting these photos. So now let's take a look at these clips. So how do you think the R5 and R6's Animal IAF did in the real world with an 800 millimeter F11 handheld with IBIS on in the body as well as the lens? Now, this is just a preview. The real world reviews will come in a little while. They take a lot of time and we wanna be thorough. So please bear with us as we create those and get them out in a month or a month and a half whenever we are able to get them done. But right now I wanted to give you a quick look at the Animal IAF. But let's jump into the computer to take a look at a couple of the raw files. And I'm gonna let you download some of the DNG files, by the way. I don't think anybody has been able to release any raw files from the R5 or R6, and I'm releasing a couple of them right now to you. The link is down below as well as on the screen so that you can play with the raw files to take a look at them and see what you think. This is straight out of the camera, the raw file with no corrections. It looks super sharp, it looks super nice with the 800 millimeter lens at F11. Now I'm gonna save my review of that for the lens review, which we're probably filming today to hopefully get out at a, you know, within a week or two. But I do wanna show you how I processed this raw file. I used Skittles 
from Fro Pack 1. That's what it looks like. Let's show you again. This is without Skittles, one click, that's what Skittles looks like. Now that gave me a good starting point. I can tweak from here, but I really like what Skittles has done to this raw file. Now, if you haven't checked out Fro Pack 1 or Fro Pack 2, where we created 29 custom Lightroom presets, head on over to fronosphoto.com slash Fro Pack 1. Over there, you can play with the sliders to see the befores and the afters. And if you pick up Fro Pack 1 and Fro Pack 2 as the Fro Pack bundle, you can get them both for $60, whereas Fro Pack 1 is $50 for 10 bucks more, you can get Fro Pack 1 and Fro Pack 2. Now let's jump back into this. So I'm really happy with that file. The next image right here is that heart image that just showed up and presented itself nice and sharp. We are with the, uh, the R6 on this one. Yep, R6. Quickly go through this, we got the yawning file. This is 4000 ISO with the R5. Of course, the eyes closed, so it just resorted to focusing on his mouth. But filling the frame at 800 is absolutely insane at the zoo. And then this one with the eyeball right here. Yep, 4000 ISO outdoors at 1 320th of a second. Even though I'm at f11 on an 800 millimeter lens, that IBIS kicked in, the animal really wasn't moving. But this is a quick look. This isn't meant to go super in depth. It's supposed to start and just show you what we've seen so far and let you start to make your own mind up. Now we will have real world reviews, like I said. Don't forget you can download some sample raw files some of, I think, the first raw files that are available from the R5 and the R6. And don't forget to check out Fro Pack 1 and Fro Pack 2. And Skittles, by the way, is in Fro Pack 1. If you have any questions or there's something that you would like to see me test out in the R5 or R6 for the real world review, please leave it down below. Thank you very much for watching. Jared Polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.